but it's a start it's very windy today and the winds are east coming from the east again which is supposed to be bad um, cast my bobber out there and it's a matter of every about every 30 to 40 seconds I have to recast it because it blows it over right back to me but uh, in a way it's kind of good because it covers a lot of ground it's a small guy he's maybe five inches white and uh, so it does cover a lot of ground instead of sitting in one spot. So it's, it's always moving about, you know, like a third of a mile an hour. It's not very fast, but uh, just enough that keeps it moving real good. I'll eventually get into a slab if I keep this up. I got about two and a half hours left. Let's see what we can do here. I'm pretty much making the same cast every time. Got my second fish. It's not much bigger, but he's. Uh, smaller size still that's a pretty one we're getting our pre-spawn cottage I'm gonna put him back one way actually the only way I'm gonna keep him away is if it's 16 or bigger maybe a 15 it has to be a giant bigger finally a little bit bigger about seven I don't know why I've caught three tiny ones and had two tiny ones fall off just ain't found the big boys yet maybe I need to set my bobber a little deeper and go out deeper we'll see if I don't get a nice one eventually then I'll try fishing a little deeper oh, he's about seven another black I'm back. Folks, we're fishing a different area today, a little creek. The very first cast I already had a crappie on. He just didn't take it all away, but it's a good sign I'm already getting bites right here below this ripple dam. It's actually about eight foot deep here, right below this ripple dam. Um, Oh, got him. Oh, my God. It's real narrow right here, and it goes through, and it opens up. It's a big honey hole right here. And uh, I've already had three bites since I got here. It's just real light. I got that light here. I'm going to get him this time. It felt like a crock. This here, it looks like a little large mouth, about seven or eight inches. There's nothing special. Spotted bass, actually. <laughs> About eight, eight, nine inches. Got him on the bandit.
definitely not worth writing home about. But this. Add another one. Add another one. On the bottom where I'm getting the bike. I'm pretty much dragging the bottom. Yeah. I don't know what this is. It's, oh my God, it was a bullpen. Oh, I bit my tail off. It was big, it was like four or five pounds. Dragging the bottom. Gotta try a worm. Turn the bucket. Got it. Oh! Big bluegill. Yeah, or a worm. It ain't bad, it's hand sign. Bluegill. It's a keeper. Size one. Alright, well, it's got my first bluegill. hard to get down but once I get down the first spot it ain't so bad I've caught a lot of crappie and red ears out of this hole I can already see a lot of activity swimming around so I got three different rigs already pre-rigged swim bait crappie jig and a crankbait oh, water is real perfect color it's not clear and it's not stained it's just kind of in between which is what I like, a greenish color. I've had some good luck here in the past and uh, hoping to get onto something right now. Let's I'll try the crankbait first to get the big boys out of their hiding. <laughs> 